Let's answer a fundamental question. Why does Earth have weather? Having weather on Earth comes down to just a handful of components. The sun's rays provide Earth with the vast majority of its heat and nearly all the energy that goes into the planet's weather systems. If we didn't have the sun, Earth probably wouldn't be here. It wouldn't exist or it would be a frigid rogue planet. We have the heat from the sun as our first component. But that isn't enough. What do the planets and moons that exhibit weather have in common? They all have an atmosphere which holds on to some of the heat received from the sun and which acts as the medium for weather to take place in. Earth's atmosphere is a mixture of gases, nitrogen and oxygen, making up over 99% of the mix, and most of the rest being taken up by a relatively inert gas called argon. Those three gases let both incoming sunlight and outgoing infrared radiation pass straight through them. It's the trace gases, represented by this tiny sliver of the atmosphere's total makeup, that gives it the ability to trap heat. But we're still missing some things. Every form of active weather we see here on Earth involves water, whether it's in solid, liquid, or gaseous form. Without water, Hot places on Earth would be even hotter. Colder places would be even colder. There wouldn't be clouds, rain, or snow, and it's doubtful that there would even be life here. But there's still one more component to add. Earth itself, specifically its shape, orientation, and movement. The fact that it's spherical leads to heat imbalances between the equator and the poles and between the day side and the night side. Its rotation causes the Coriolis effect, forcing flows in the atmosphere to follow a curved path as they move. Finally, the combination of the planet's tilt and its orbit around the sun leads to our yearly seasonal changes. So there you have it. The sun, the atmosphere, water, and the shape and movement of the Earth form the basics of our weather. Join me in episode two into the different layers of the atmosphere as we all become a bit more weather-wise.